Hi, my name is Eugenia Hernandez. So three ways that we show nonverbal communication could be through facial expressions, through body movement, or through touch. So I'm going to give an example from when I was younger. I used to um, get hunger pains and uh, just because I was growing. <laughs> So I used to get hunger pains later in the afternoon because I tend not to be as hungry during breakfast, so I wouldn't eat my breakfast. So there, I used to go to dance class, and sometimes the girls would have extra cash to get food from the vending machine, and I wanted food. So without asking for the food, because my mom would get so mad if I asked for the food, um, she said that was impolite, um, I would show that I was hungry by making faces and uh, certain body movements. So I would, I would put this really sad face on and I would get very serious and I would get mm, just, mm, and I would put my hand on my stomach and just be very dramatic with it. But it always ended up kind of working. I would come out of ballet class and I had a soda and I had a bag of chips and my mom would be like, why'd you ask for food? And I didn't, I, I didn't ask for food. They just gave it to me. <laughs> so that can be an example of not only uh, facial expressions, but also um, some body movement. Um, another way for body movement ex uh, specifically, especially with Latinos or other other cultures, we tend to talk with our hands, as you can see that I'm doing right now. Um, usually, uh, how a conductor moves his hands to express what he wants for his musicians or his singers to, you know, to sing vocally or to uh, play musically, it is the same almost when people talk with their hands, if you really pay attention, there's a difference between going like this and going, you know, like you can tell when someone is upset or when someone's just talking or when someone's kind of sad. And um, body movement really helps. I mean, there's other forms of body movement, but that's the one that sticks out for me mostly in my daily life. Another form of nonverbal communication is a uh, touch so another example from when i was younger um you know when uh you're with other people or you're at a birthday party or something and you misbehave um my my mom would kind of oh this also falls into facial expressions my mom would call me over with her face and then you know basically tell me to stay by her side and if I still misbehaved, a, a very pleasant physical touch was a little pinch, basically telling me, stop it. <laughs> so, I mean, there's, of course, other forms of physical touch. There's caressing, there's slapping, there's hitting, there's, um, you know, just touching lovingly. All of these forms um, can help express uh, your emotions. Thank you.